Yes, God, honey, it's Miss Laganja Astranja here with PAX to celebrate pride and create a sickening look inspired by the new PAX era ultra green. We're also here to remind you that drag and the use of cannabis is not a threat. Pride is all about love and freedom of expression and inclusivity. So today I'm going to do that with a snatched look. Let's get sickening, oh crrr. I first started drag when I was in Dallas, Texas. My drag mother, Alyssa Edwards, was the first person to put me in geesh. And I was actually going to a True Blood viewing party at my best friend Jake's house. So I was giving spooky, ooky, kooky realness. I had like a red mohawk. I looked crazy, but I looked good. When it comes to pride, pride to me is all about living your life out loud. I think now, especially more than ever, people are really trying to minimalize our voices and make our voices not as heard. And that's just sad to me because that's what pride is about. It's about showing up, it's about living out loud, and it's about not being afraid to be different than the pack. I think as someone who grew up in the LGBTQIA space, I was often told to diminish my light and to blend in and to follow the fabric of society. And for me, having pride is being able to go against the grain and just be yourself. I think to be a drag performer in 2023 is one of the most challenging, but also the most freeing times. I feel like drag is definitely becoming more and more mainstream, thanks to artists like RuPaul and Trixie Mattel. You have to be really brave, you have to be really courageous, and ultimately, you have to be really talented because there's so many drag queens now. So you have to really have something unique that stands out amongst the noise. I feel like when I'm not using cannabis recreationally, another way that cannabis really helps me is in my performances. I think most people know me for doing a lot of shows and stunts and shenanigans and the way that I'm able to really tap into that energy is through cannabis. It helps me relax, it helps me feel confident, and ultimately it helps me with my creativity. I think what drew me to the art of drag in the beginning was just the overall glamor of everything. I've always been addicted to living my life out loud and proud, and I feel like there's no one more fabulous than a drag queen. I generally gravitate towards a sativa dominant. Some of my favorite strains are green crack and tangy. When I'm not eating Jack in the Box, I do have several other favorite munchies. I love Reese's and I mean all types. So everyone always asks me, how did I come up with the name Laganja Astranja? And I'll be honest, I don't remember. I was medicated. If I could choose one person to get high with, it would be Missy Elliott. She is my true inspiration in life and one of my just favorite creators all around. I love her not only because her music is wild and sexy and cool, but there is also a message behind it. So I just see drag getting bigger and louder and fiercer and more in your face. I think it has to be in order for us to continue over this hump. I think people, you know, want us to go back to being in nightclubs and go back to being underground, and that's just not gonna happen. We're here to stay, we're here to live our lives, because ultimately drag is just an art form. It's a form of expression that I think leads people to living their truth. It definitely helped me in discovering my truth as a trans woman, and I think that is why many people want to hide this art form is because they realize that it is truly powerful beyond its stage presentation. It really does allow you to transform your life and be your best, most authentic self. I think one of the best ways to support the LGBTQIA community is by using your voice for positivity. I think a lot of the times we feel unheard as a community or we only feel seen at certain times. And I think when allies really use their voice on the daily and they show up for us in the comment section, in the likes, in the promotion of our videos, that's like a really easy and free way for people to support and amplify our voices. I also think it's super important to vote. I think the best way we can control those that are in power is by voting with an open heart 
and by voting in someone who has a similar belief of acceptance of all. And just like that, voila, my beautiful loop inspired by the PAX era ultra green. Thank you all so much for watching this special pride moment brought to you by PAX. On behalf of myself and PAX, we are honored to be donating to the Trans Wellness Center here in Los Angeles an incredible organization that has truly changed my life for the better. Be sure you follow me at Laganja Astranja, and until next time, peace, pride, and pax.